for me, I think in a lot of situations, I was forced into a change. So embracing it, I never had the option to be able to do that. So the, the free will or their choice to make, to go along with the change, it was always, this is how it's going to go. So I had no choice but to flip on a dime just as far as being able to survive. I think and the root of it is fear and, and you know, the, the, the false evidence appearing real. Like, I think we strum up in our head that if this change happens, we paint the biggest picture like, <laughs> and the crazy part is we never paint the picture of it being successful. Right. Like we will paint the worst picture. <laughs> like when I pull out the driveway, the 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 uh, the trees are gonna fall on the car, and I'm just gonna die, and I don't know what I'm gonna do. But when you pull out the driveway, that never happens. The biggest, most terrifying thing that you can think yeah. of in your head that you strum up and yeah. and 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 come up with because to me, I I believe the mind is the one of the most powerful things in the world right due to the fact that what you think and what you believe you become that's how I, when the bible said somewhere between genesis and revelations when it says whatever man think if so is, so is he right so it's like i think we take that as a cliche but ultimately right. that is actual fact yeah like if i think if I think negative, if I think right, so negative in life, like I'll never reap the full benefits of life. Right, that's and what that made me in body change. Due to the fact that I found more success in accepting change than fighting change. Right, and if if I literally, because I think a lot of times things are passed on to us from generation to generation mm -hmm. to generation. That's why a lot of us are not where we need to be because your mother, your father, your dad, or your uncle, whoever passed you on the fear of don't change. Right. Stay the same. Stay the same. Yeah. Like, and a lot of times we are byproduct of our own environment. Yes. But we can come up out of that environment. We can. And become something greater than we're like most um, the uh, it's the social emotional learning another you know thing and it, it goes beyond just the classroom but this is the time where you know we do have to start fostering those things because this is such a big change and it is impacting um older people mm -hmm. middle um even our you know even even our our six and four year old you know yeah. when when you know i got the four year old asking me if coronavirus is in a store that is a huge change because we should be singing lullabies and different things like that so it's we have to remember that change is going to one occur and so it's how we handle the change and what we do in that moment of change that I think makes the biggest difference. Yeah. Because if 